G'day and welcome back to 256 Shades of Grey. So far we've talked testes. And scanned sore soldiers. Sore shoulders. But this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to introduce a third party. Our very own Dr Google. Some may say, yes, mm. our very own. So there's lots to explore in this radiology jungle. So let's go and see what we can find. Okie dokie. <laughs> Years ago, this nocturnal like creature, especially Ostium doctorium radiologi, really left their dark cave like habitat. It was a strange place with eerie illumination. Lately, they've bravely ventured out into the more populated surrounds, even sometimes coexisting with the Homo sapiens technosium species. We found they can often still be a bit skittish and elusive sometimes, especially around feeding times. But we hope to gather some vital information from one that we've lured with the promise of a procedure-free afternoon. So let's see if this trap worked. Follow us. here we're going to keep him for a very short period of time because he's already a little bit agitated. We're going to take it gently. We have to stay back. We'll ask the questions from here. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. When and why should we extend the ultrasound to the kidneys when we're, uh, we're scanning the testes? Well, both the testes and the kidneys develop in the same bit embryologically. So if there's something wrong with one, there can often be something wrong with the other. And the other thing that they have in common is their venous drainage is very similar. And that can be renal lesions can block the drainage of the testicles. So you like to exclude renal lesions. <laughs> Why do varicoceles occur more commonly on the left side? That's another one of those venous drainage questions. The left testicular vein, similar to the left ovarian vein, drains directly into the renal vein and it drains in, in a very vertical plane. So when patients stand up, they have a big column of gravity pressing down on that vein, which can dilate it up. The right side vein actually enters obliquely into the IVC, so there's less of a column of pressure on the right side. He seems very calm today. I'm a bit scared. Yeah. See how he goes with the next lot of questions. Can you tell us? the difference between bursal bunching and impingement? Bursal bunching is when the top of the bursa just rises up but still passes under the acromion. Impingement when you can see there's actually a block in there and impingement it's good if we split it down into just the thickened walls of the, bur of the bursa catching on there or if there's fluid in the bursa you often see the fluid bunching up and then passing under and that's called ballotment. So it gives you an idea if it's mainly fluid in the bursa or bursal thickening as a cause. So why is it important to tell the difference between tendinopathy and adhesive capsulitis? The reason it's important to tell the difference of the two is the treatment's very different and the prognosis is very different. Tendinosis with rest will have improved. Adhesive capsulitis used to be called frozen shoulders, so the first bit's the freezing phase, and they get reduced movement, particularly in abduction and external rotation. 
and on ultrasound you can see a bit of thickening of the rotator interval and often a bit of fluid and debris around the long head of the biceps and then they go on to the phase when they're frozen which is when they essentially have no movement and a lot of pain and then a gradual improvement. So the treatment for adhesive capsulitis is either physio or can be hydrodilatation of the shoulder or steroid injections can even be surgical intervention. So they have quite a different time course and different signs and symptoms. And that's the end, surely. I think he's getting a bit agitated now. We better just leave him alone. I think we got out on skates. I think that we was, did. That Are was you good. two still here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a wild mission that was. Oh, yeah, eat your heart out, David Attenborough. We're coming for you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, next episode, who knows what's going to be in it really, do you know? No, I have no Nobody idea. Nobody knows. Alrighty, raise your probes and cheers, cheers to, to sonography. sonography. Like and subscribe and we'll see you on the other side. Bye. Bye.